Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this rational equation. So before we get started, I am going to identify the top part by just putting bracket. So this top part becomes our numerator, while this bottom part, by just putting a bracket, this will be considered as our denominator. Now let's focus on the top part over here, this fraction over here. I just copy it down over here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and add them, okay? So I can make this two, make a fraction by just putting one underneath. Let's add these two fraction. Let me show you an easy way to add these two fraction by crisscross method, okay? I'm gonna crisscross, cross multiply one times four is going to be 4 and whatever this sign plus is I'm going to put down plus then I'm going to cross multiply 2 times x minus 2 that's going to give us 2x minus 4 divided by now we are going to multiply these denominators so 1 times x minus 2 is going to become simply x minus 2 and on the top this minus 4 and positive 4 cancel out so we got 2x over x minus 2. So therefore the top part this one could be replaced by this simplified one so I can write this one as on the top is going to become 2x over x minus 2 all right divided by and then equal to 12. Now let's focus on this one the fraction at the denominator over here I have copied it down right up here and we are going to simplify this one as well so let's do the similar way we are going to simplify it by crisscross method we are going to cross multiply so that is going to 6 times x minus 2 is going to give us 6x minus 12 and then whatever this negative sign I am going to write down negative sign and then the other way around 3 times x is going to give us 3x divided by now we multiply the denominators x times x minus 2 so I can write x times x minus 2 Let's simplify on the top. 6x minus 3x is going to give us 3x minus 12 divided by x times x minus 2. So therefore, I can write this denominator as the simplified form that I just put it down over here. In the bracket, I am going to put down 3x minus 12 divided by x times x minus 2. So far so good. And now let's focus on the left hand side this big fraction and this fraction could be written as the top part divided by this the bottom part as you can see. Now let's go ahead and simplify this one. I can write this one 2x over x minus 2 and this deviant sign becomes multiplication when we, when we flip it over the right hand side that is going to become x times x minus 2 divided by 3x minus 12. So far so good. Now let's go ahead and see this x minus 2 cancels out with this x minus 2 so on the top we are going to multiply this 2x times x that is going to become 2x square divided by 3x minus 12. So therefore this left hand side and side could be replaced by this our simplified form so this could be written as 2x square divided by 3x minus 12 
equals to on the right hand side we got 12. I can make it a fraction by just putting 1 underneath. And now let's go ahead and cross multiply on both sides. So that is going to give us on the left hand side this look. 2x squared times 1 is going to give us 2x squared equals to when we multiply the other way around 12 times 3x minus 12 is going to give us 36x minus 144. Let's move all these stuff on the left hand side. So we got 2x squared minus 36x plus 144 equal to 0. And as now we can see that all of these terms are divisible by 2. So I'm going to divide each and every term by 2 across the board. So that is going to give us x squared minus 18x plus 72 equal to 0. And since we are running out of space on the left hand side, we are going to move to the right hand side. And here is our quadratic equation that can be easily solved by factoring. So let's go ahead and put down two parentheses equal to 0. And our factors are going to be x minus 6 and x minus 12. All right. Since these two factors equal to 0, I can separate them. I can split them up. x minus 6 equal to 0 and x minus 12 equal to 0. So that means x equal to 6 is one of our solution and x equal to 12 another one. So thus our solution set turns out to be 6 and 12 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.